guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we're watching No Country for Old Men. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today we are diving on into something a little different, a drama, a crime thriller, something a bit more suspenseful than perhaps what we typically watch here on my channel. It's been a little while since we've dove into something a bit more dramatic or grounded. Lately, we've been watching some fun nostalgic type stuff like Pirates of the Caribbean, some fun sci-fi action like Stranger Things and Edge of Tomorrow. And today I wanted to dive into something that has been on my list for quite a long time. So I made a poll over on Patreon filled with some incredible films, things like Reservoir Dogs, things like No Country for Old Men, Scarface I also believe was on there, as well as Memento by Christopher Nolan. These are things that have either been requested heavily or have just been on my list for years and I've wanted to watch them for so long. So we're definitely in for an interesting ride today. I don't know much about this movie aside from the cast. I do know that, you know, Javier Bardem is in this film, as well as Josh Brolin and Tommy Lee Jones. I don't know anything about the plot, however. I've just heard people rave about this movie, especially Tyler. I know he's a big fan of it and has wanted me to watch it for a while. And it finally won a poll over on Patreon. It did take a while. I put it in quite a few polls before this one came out on top. For those of you guys that don't know, I do have a Patreon. I always link it in the description bar down below. If you want to vote in polls and help me decide what I watch next, as well as catch my full length watch along style reactions to these movies and shows, that would definitely be a good thing to go check out. And I also list my Twitter and Instagram down below along with my second channel, Just Nat, where I do other kinds of fun content, video gameplay, live streams, that type of thing. So yeah, definitely make sure to go check out all those other platforms if that kind of stuff interests you. But I am really excited to be diving on into this movie today. I have a feeling it'll be jarring and thrilling and intense. Um, all I really know about it is it's in the crime genre and it's clearly left a lasting impression on a lot of people. So I have a feeling it might leave a lasting impression on me, but I, I don't really know what the plot has in store. I'm just kind of excited for a surprise today. I'm hoping I enjoy the movie um, and that it moves me in some kind of way. I'm looking forward to seeing the way that it was made, seeing the script, hearing the script. Um, given the fact that Tyler raves about it so much, it definitely leaves me feeling pretty hopeful and coming into this movie with probably pretty high expectations, I'm not gonna lie. Anytime Tyler raves about a movie to me, like actually raves about a movie, I kind of it, put it on a pedestal and it kind of has a high bar to beat, but I am excited. I also just remembered he did tell me as well that apparently in this movie, there's no music at all in the sound design, which I think is really interesting because I don't know if off the top of my head, I can't recall if I've ever seen a film with no music. I'm sure there's gotta be one out there. You guys can tell me, have we watched a movie here on my channel that has no music? I can't think of one, quite honestly. I'm sure there's gotta be one out there that maybe I've seen that has no music in it, but I'm excited to see if I really notice that at all. But that's all I really have for this intro, guys. I'm just excited to continue the variety over here on my channel and watch something very different than stuff we have been watching more recently. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. I don't want to push my chips forward and go out and meet something I don't understand. What? What is that? Like an oxygen tank? Is that Javier Bardem in the back seat? He has long hair in this. I know that. Sheriff, he had some sort of- He's standing up! Oh no. No way. No way. Is he getting out of the cuffs? You got me. Well, you can look at it when you get in. Dude, you're about to die! You're about to die, son! I got it under control. No, you don't! Ah! Oh my God, the way he did it so calmly. Oh, son, you're dead. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, he looked really happy about that. Got all the scuff marks. All the scuff marks on the floor. Holy <laughs> Yeah, what does he want with that oxygen tank? What the f What the f Is this his car? Oh Jesus Christ. He looked so gleeful. <laughs> Should be killing that guy. No, this isn't Javier Bardem. This looks like a different guy. Oh, he stole the cop car? I guess that's what you would do. Holy 
Are you gonna kill this guy? Don't kill this guy. Just don't kill this guy. I need you to step out of the car, sir. Just step out of the car, sir. Just step out of it. Just give him the car. What is that for? You. Don't kill him. Would you hold still? No. 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 What? Oh my God. He just killed him. <laughs> Why? He would have given you the car? Oh no! That man, that poor unassuming man. You hold still. Oh, now he's telling that animal to hold still. Oh, that's great. That's great writing. That's great writing. Oh, good job. Oh, no, but it's running away. Oh, yeah, you gotta go track it down. You can't let it die. Far away. You gotta go get it. Is it a, is that, that looks like it's going in a different direction. Different trail of blood. Uh-oh. Is that it? Oh, it's a dog. What? Where'd he come from? Bunch of pickup trucks? <gasps> Those bodies? The f is happening in this town? Yeah, I don't wanna live here. No, thank you. Oh, it's so spooky. They're all, all the cars are in a, all the trucks are in like a circle too. Oh my God. This is a bloodbath. <gasps> the dog! No! Why? I'm scared. Someone gonna be alive. Oh, him, barely. Agua, for real. Agua. He wants water. Oh, they were fighting over drugs. Oh, the sound design there was pretty cool with the wind transitioning to silence. So interesting, he starts off tracking an animal that he shot and now he's tracking a guy. There, yeah. Wait, the, the, it's not Javier Bardem, is it? I don't know, I just see, everybody could have pointy boots in this world, I guess, it doesn't matter. Oh no, it's not, it's another guy. Hi. So silent and spooky. Ah, uh, the dinero, oh boy. He's taking the money. I feel like this is gonna this is gonna be what sets off the chain of events. Cause now he has the money. Unless he turns it in, which it doesn't look like he's about to, then I think it's gonna paint a target on his back and he's gonna be, oh yeah, he's gonna hide it. Oh dude, nope, this is exactly how issues start in movies. Did you buy that gun? No, I found it. Llewellyn. What? Quit your hollering. That's a really cool name, Llewellyn. You don't need to know everything, Carla Jean. She's got a right to know what you brought here into the house. He's shaking his head. All right. What? What? You having second thoughts? What are you doing, baby? I'm going out. Going where? Oh, he's gonna go give the guy. Oh, go I'm fixing to do something dumber than hell, but I'm going anyways. It is dumber than hell. If I don't come back, you tell mother I love her. Holy sh! This is what's gonna cause him issues. He's gonna go back because of his guilty conscience to give the guy water. Meanwhile, the guy's probably dead by now, but he has a heart of some sort. Oh, I love that. Seeing the truck come over the hill that he was on earlier. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Oh. The fact that there's no music and it's all silent really just makes it like extra scary. Someone came over and shot him. I'm scared. Oh, <gasps> they're at your truck. No. Oh, you're f dude. They're gonna look at your plates. Oh, <gasps> they took the air out of the tires. Oh no. You shouldn't have taken the money, man. You shouldn't have come back here and you shouldn't have taken the money. You don't wanna get involved with these kinds of people. Oh no, they got really bright lights too. I stopped. Oh, you're f dude. They saw you. They're gonna shoot you. The lightning in the distance. What? Oh, he's a fast runner. Don't you guys want your money back? If you kill him, you won't get your money back. Go in the river. Oh, no. He's shot. Oh, you're taking off your boots? You're really taking the time to take your boots off. Oh, the dog's going after you. Run, Forrest, run! Run! Oh my god! Oh, that's terrifying! The dog is chasing you! Ah, swim! Mother swim! Oh my god. Oh my god, that's actually so scary. Go! Oh my god, that's actually terrifying. I understand why they killed the other dog. Oh my god, dude. Go faster! Stop turning back! What's he gonna do? He's got a gun. Are you gonna shoot the dog? You gotta do something. It's chasing you. Yep, shoot it. I understand now. I get it. I'm sorry, puppy. <sighs> Hurry up! Oh my god, he's gotta make sure it's ready to go. 
Oh, we, wow, he's a really good shot. He's a really good shot. Oh, it's it still hurts my heart to hear the dog like whimpering like that, you know? Like something just goes off in my motherly instincts, even if the, that dog is a trained killer. <laughs> it still hurts. How much? 69, see? Ha <laughs> ha, 69. Sorry. <laughs> is something wrong? With what? With anything. Is that what you're asking me? Is there something wrong with anything? Will there be anything else? You already asked me that. He wants you to leave. He's asking it again so you'll get the f out. Let's see about closing. Yes, sir. What time do you close? Now. Now, now, now we do, now. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Oh my God, holding on to the wrapper unraveling itself. Such an interesting choice for a shot. Like represents the tension. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Call it. Oh, is it going to be his life depends on it? Come on now. We need to know what we're calling it for. He's, he's right, he's right. You need to know why. You just tend to win everything, call it. Heads. No, tails, 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 tails. Heads, then. Yeah. I say tails. Oh, it's heads. I, I would have died. Don't put it in your pocket, sir. Why? Don't put it in your pocket. It's your lucky quarter. Or it'll get mixed in with the others and become just a coin. That is actually a really good point. <laughs> Which it is. <laughs> I would have died. I would. I guess Tails, he would have shot me so quick. Oh my god. This guy is so intimidating. This character is already so, like, interesting. He really thinks he has the power to, like, just take people's lives away for whatever reason he deems fit. Oh boy. Get in there. Oh, now it's Tommy, hi! Be careful. Always am. Don't get hurt. Never do. Oh, please don't let Tommy die. I like him already. Don't hurt no one. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> I like their relationship. Don't let him get hurt. Come on now. Oh no. Oh, what's he gonna do now? Is this Llewellyn's house? He can use this to do anything. No wonder this is his weapon of choice. Oh, he's looking at the, oh no, the last phone calls he made. If this guy was tracking me, I think I would just give up. I think I would just be like, yeah, you, you can have me. I am so just not in the mood to be chased by you. You gonna drink his milk? I wouldn't have thought he was a milkman. Mom was gonna raise hay. Mm -hmm. You don't need to worry about your mom. You're coming back, ain't you? Oh no. I shall return. You better. Oh, is he gonna die? I'm concerned. I don't want him to. I really, really, really don't want him to. But I am just so concerned. Oh, he's gonna hi is he gonna hide the money up there? So, in this movie, like, he sinned, right? He stole the money, and that's why he's now, like, that's what set off the chain of events, and that's why he's being chased. So I wonder if, like, he'll have to give the money up or lose the money in order to get out of this with his life intact. Because I really want him to survive, but I feel like that's the only way he could. I don't know. Wow, he's really, he's going to push it deep in there. He's smart man. He's going to all lengths. Uh-oh. Is this Llewellyn or somebody else? I'm nervous. Oh, it's Llewellyn. Is that his truck? Don't stop. Why don't I just set you down right here and we'll no. talk you about it? No, how about you just take him somewhere else? Look, you're already in a jackpot and I'm trying to get you out of it. But take me to another motel. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. <laughs> I don't blame the cab driver for being like, I just want to drop you off. Let me drop you off. But he's like, no, no, don't stop. Keep going. Interesting. So, yeah, that truck was the Mexicans tracking him, but he's also got this guy tracking him. It's crazy. He's got so many people <laughs> hunting him down. Are you gonna kill the bird? Why? Why? He's crazy. He just really loves having the power of taking everything's life. Uh, can I get another room? You want to change rooms? No. Keep my room and get another one. Yeah, an additional room, ma'am, yes. I would like to be a sniper from one room into my original room. <laughs> well, you can have the one right next to yours if you want. No, 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 no. It's got two double beds. Yeah, that's, yeah, well, that's great. That's exactly what he wants. <laughs> this woman's like, what the f What are you doing? <laughs> I wonder how the Mexicans found him here. Wait, he's using a tracker. What, is it on the money? Oh, you got, oh, you got a scary man after you, Llewellyn. Oh, you got a scary man. 
Oh, is he gonna try to get the money? No. What? That wouldn't make sense, right? What's he doing with those wires? Looks like he's trying to fashion like a hooking device to get the bag of money, but oh boy. Oh boy, Llewellyn, let it go. The best thing you could do right now, Llewellyn, is to let the money go. But he's not going to. Oh my God, what is that? That looks like a scarier version of the other thing he carries around, the oxygen weapon thing. Oh, he's gonna go break into the room he thinks Llewellyn is in. Oh Jesus. I'm starting to see why they didn't use music in this movie. It's really so much more suspenseful when it's quiet and he's tiptoeing around with no shoes on. It's the wrong man. It's the wrong man. Wow, everybody, he just pees with a, he just pees with a weapon like that on him? Oh, it's the Mexican. Oh, it's the two other guys who were hunting him. I see. Oh, that's so funny. He killed, well, that's great. Two of them are taken care of for you then, Llewellyn. No, I'm not. Three of them. He's gonna kill you through the curtain. Wow. What, just so you didn't get covered in blood? Was that why you did that? Oh my God. <gasps> that quarter looks like it's covered in blood. Yeah, there he goes. He's looking for it. I wonder if Llewellyn got it out or not, or if he gave up. It's gone. <gasps> He's gone. Ah! Holy sh Where are we? We just go to the city? You know Anton Chigurh by sight, is that correct? Yes, yeah, sure, I know him every which way. Oh, hey, Woody. I didn't know he was in the movie. Yeah, he's a psychopathic killer, but so what? Just playing them around. Oh, that, so that's Javier Bardem's character name, Anton. What? Is he looking for like a track? Is he gonna look for a tracker? <gasps> yeah, are you realizing it's crazy that they found you? you Should have taken the tracking device off sooner. F it, take all the money out. Is it in the money? Oh my God. I'm glad he figured it out. It's a little late. You figured it out a little late. I feel, why do I feel like we're gonna see his shadow? The sound design, it is brilliant to not have any music in this movie, I will say. Oh my god, oh my god. No, I don't want him to die. I don't want him to die. I don't want him to die, please, please. Oh, he turned off the lights. This mother He's gonna burst the lock open like he always does. He's gonna do it. <laughs> Did he really get out of there? I feel like he's gonna die. Holy shit. holy shit. You know, if you drop the money, you might live. Oh, you got shot bad. Is it worth it, bro? Is it worth it? Don't worry, I ain't gonna hurt you. I need you to drive me on out of here. <laughs> yeah, you aren't gonna hurt him, but the other guy doesn't give a shit. Man, you're a lucky dude. You're a lucky dude. What are you gonna do, dude? I can't imagine he'd get out of this situation. Shoot your shot, dude. You gotta shoot your shot. But like, there's no way he's gonna go out this fast. Oh my God. Oh my God! He's gonna see that the guy left, yep. <gasps> and now he's gonna track Llewellyn's blood like Llewellyn was tracking blood in the beginning of the movie. Oh, almost. Nice valiant effort, valiant effort. Oh. It's dark. Did he escape? I'm scared. I don't trust it. Oh, okay, he escaped. All right. Huh. <sighs> oh, Mexico. We're at the border. Um. Oh my God. You're bleeding out, dude. Wow. You're just walking across the border. You don't think they're gonna ask questions? Did they not? They didn't ask questions. They just let him. They let him go. What are you gonna do? Are you climbing over the fence? Oh my God. He's gonna die. Is he gonna be okay? He's bleeding so much. He's throwing the money over the fence. Why? Well, you did a great job where it landed because you can't see it, but what the fu- why? And he just fell asleep on a park bench? How are you gonna survive, my dude? Was it worth it, dude? Was it worth it? I mean- Medico. Medico. It's literally blood money. It's like covered in blood now. I wonder if he's gonna get help. He finally gave up the money, so I feel like he could survive. Although he didn't really give it up. He's just hiding it somewhere. So he, he could also die. I'm seriously concerned about him. What are you doing? Oh, is he dressing his own wounds? Did he get wounded? Oh, he got wounded too. Llewellyn put up a fight. 
Is he gonna start a fire? Oh, so he's not, he's not dressing his wounds. He's starting a fire? Why? Why are we burning this car? You're lucky that no one saw you do that in the store. Wow, that's so crazy, because I feel like they probably only had one chance to do that shot with the car, right? Like, depending on how much money you have, probably only have one chance to get that shot right. I love like that in movies when you know they didn't, they couldn't really do something a ton of times, probably. What, he wanted to cause a distraction so that no one would notice him in the store? Is that what that was for? I that just feel so extra. <laughs> oh, he's alive, yay! I'm guessing this isn't the future you had pictured for yourself when you first clapped eyes on that money. No, it's not, Woody. I've seen him. You've seen him? Man, you're not dead. No, you're the only one who's done that, huh? Look, you gotta give me this money. I got no other reason to protect you. Mm. Uh, it's too late. I spent it. No, you didn't. How do you know he's not on his way to Odessa? Why would he go to Odessa? Kill your wife. Dude, yeah, you thought you could protect your wife by just sending her home to her mom? Like, come on now. Charlie grabs his gun there, shoots the damn thing in the head, but with all the swinging and the thrashing, it's a glance shot. Ricochets around, comes back, hits Charlie in the shoulder. You go see Charlie, he still can't pick up his right hand for his hat. The point being that even in the contest between man and steer, the issue is not certain. Right. You never know what could happen. Of course, they slaughter steers a lot different these days. Use an air gun. Air gun. That's what Anton uses! Oh my god! And they didn't know what that looked like? The, sh the cop was just like, I don't know, he's got oxygen. You'd think he'd know what that was. Oh my God, that story had a double purpose in the meaning. I love this writing, it's perfect. Oh, did, did he tell him where the money was or did this guy just guess and figure it out? Oh, it's right there, yeah, you can see it. I don't think Llewellyn told him, so I think this guy just figured it out. Hello, Carson. Let's go to your room. Oh my God. Take you to an ATM, there's 14 grand in it. Everybody just walks away. I don't think he cares about the money. I think he just wants to kill you. <laughs> you should admit your situation. There will be more dignity in it. He's gonna kill you, Carson. Wow, I thought Woody Harrelson would last longer than this. You could have the money, Anton. Oh, that really scared the out of me, holy shit. I feel like I was just as scared as Woody Harrelson in that moment. Like, I feel like he didn't even know the phone was gonna ring. He jumped and I was like, oh. <laughs> My God, I like knocked him out of the chair. Who's calling him? Who's calling him? Is it Llewellyn? Hello? Yes. Carson Wells there? Not in the sense that you mean. You need to come see me. Yeah, it's the other guy. It's Sugar. Do you know where I'm going? Odessa. You're going to Odessa. You bring me the money and I'll let her go. Not you, but I'll let her go, yeah. You're hurt, ain't you? Who makes you say that? I can hear it in your voice. Oh. Um, look, I want you. There is falseness in his voice. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with mother? You no, know, she'll be all right. She'll be all right? <laughs> the cancer! Ain't nobody gonna bother her. Oh. Cue this guy coming to Odessa. I feel like if there was someone he would leave alone, it would be L Carla's mother. Oh no, he came here. Oh, this dude behind him is totally about to die too. Are you going to shoot me? That depends. On what? Is it a coin toss? Do you see me? I always saying this is what it come to. Oh! That, okay, shut up, mother. <laughs> that is such a good cut and good writing. Do you see me? And then just cut to the next scene. I love it. We're going to El Paso, Texas. Stop talking, mother. I do feel bad for the mom. She's like, I I'm stuck in this situation. No te acerques. Oh my God. The Mexicans are still hunting them too? Uh-oh. You need help with the bugs, mother. Who the f are you? What? Yes, thank you. I am old and I am not well. You are too... You are too trusting, ma'am. You go to El Paso? I know it. Where are you staying? You really shouldn't have taken your mother along, Ma Carla. I know she wants to protect her, though. If I tell you where Llewellyn's headed, you promise it'll be just you who goes and talks with him? Yes, ma'am, I do. Llewellyn would never ask for help. He never thinks he needs any. Carla Jean, I will not harm you, ma'am. And he needs help. He does need help. He needs a lot of help. 
I got beers in my room. Oh, well, I'm, uh... He's taken! I'm waiting on my wife. That's who you keep looking out the window for. Yeah, sure. It's also being chased down and hunted. Oh, ma'am, I, I know what bear leads to. <laughs> <laughs> bear leads to more bear. Uh-oh. Oh, and then just a dissolve to black? Interesting choice there. I feel like that was the first time we ever did that in the movie. The Mexicans are back. They're here. Uh-oh. Wait, was that the motel that Llewellyn was at? Oh, no. Where Carlo Jean was going? Oh, no. Oh, no. What, is that Llewellyn? Wait, no. Wait, what? Oh, no. He's, he's dead just like that? He's dead like that. We don't get to see it happen? Wait, so the Mexicans got to him before Anton? You know, if you'd have told me 20 years ago, I'd see children walking the streets of our Texas towns with green hair, bones in their noses. I just flat out wouldn't have believed you. Um, what does green hair and nose piercings have anything to do with it, sir? It's the dismal time. The, dis the dismal time. <laughs> Listen, people who dye their hair green don't just become psychopathic murderers. Man, it's so interesting because I feel like this movie is really starting. It started off kind of feeling like it was centering around Llewellyn, but now he's dead and it feels like it's centering more around the sheriff. It's interesting. Oh, is he gonna look at the lock? It looks like the lock was blown in, so it must have been Anton. It must have been. He's in there. Was that him in the reflection? Holy f Why? Why? Why is he in there? Is he hiding? Why? Sheriff, I don't want you to die. <laughs> I'm scared for you, Sheriff. <sighs> putting the gun away, why are you putting the gun away? Is that how he left? Is that insinuating that he left out the window? Or through that? Oh, with the coin! That's how he got away. Interesting that he chose to leave and not kill the Sheriff. Interesting, because normally he just chooses the path of least resistance, like just killing people on his way. Oh my. Oh my God. I knew this one done with. Are you gonna kill her because he didn't give you the money? I buried my mother today. Oh, she did bury her mother. Wow. She, oh, she has no one. And he's what, gonna kill her? Your husband had the opportunity to save you. Yeah, and he didn't. Oh, now he's gonna flip the coin again. This is the best I can do. Call it. Oh, I feel like she's gonna call it wrong. Call it. No. Oh, she refuses. The coin don't have no say. Yeah. It's just you. Yeah, it is, it's you. Did he kill her? I feel like he killed her. He's looking at the bottom of his shoes for blood, I bet. I bet he killed her. Oh my God, the suspense of not really knowing. What are you looking at those kids for, Anton? That guy's just not paying attention? Or was he trying to hit him? What? Is it just a chance car accident on a, in a quiet neighborhood? Ooh. Ah! The bone! Oh, sticking out of your yeah, I see it! I don't want to look at it! Are you all right? No. You got a bone sticking out your arm. Please stop saying that! Take it in. You didn't see me. I was already gone. You know part of that's mine, right? You still got your damn shirt. <laughs> it's so funny, he was like, I don't need the money, and now he's like, well, I'm not sharing it with you. <laughs> Holy f And now he's finally back home. Maybe I'll go riding. Oh, he's retired now? Is he done? He quit? How'd you sleep? I don't know. I had dreams. Two of them both had my father in them. It's peculiar. Anyway, the first one I don't remember too well, but it was about meeting him in town somewhere, and he gave me some money. The second one, it was like we was both back in older times, going through the mountains of the night. And in the dream, I knew that he was going on ahead. Mm -hmm. He's fixing to make a fire somewhere out there and all that dark and all that cold. And I knew that whenever I got there, he'd be there. And then I woke up.
What the heck? Oh my god. I genuinely like don't know what to say. I think I'm gonna come back and film this outro in a little bit. I gotta... <laughs> I need to take a second. So, I brought Tyler up here. Um, you guys can't see him because he doesn't like to be on camera. I don't know how well you'll actually hear him with this new microphone, but there are some movies that I just have a really hard time processing on my own. And so I kind of wanted to like do this outro where we're chatting a little bit about it because I feel like that'll help me process some of the moments. Um, I also feel like just this is a movie that bears rewatching a lot because... <laughs> It is. I'm kind of like flabbergasted right now. Full disclosure, this is one of my favorite movies. Is it like your, in your top five? Yeah. Oh, this is I didn't know that. Movies. I heard you screaming that he, oh, oh, he dies. He dies and you don't see it. And I was like, I know exactly where she is. So I put on the ending and I was just re-watching it myself and appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, it was interesting because I feel like the whole first half of the movie, you think the protagonist is Josh Brolin's character, but then it's really Tommy Lee Jones's character. And then it reminds you like, oh, Tommy Lee Jones did start off narrating the movie. Yeah. So it kind of makes sense that he's the protagonist, but we just don't see him for so much of the movie. So that was really interesting. And I feel like Javier Bardem's character... Like, there's so much to unpack with his character, and I'm not quite sure how I feel about him yet. Part of me at one point felt like he was God, and the other part of the time I thought he was the devil. <laughs> and I just, because he just like, he's operating on this principle of like, of this, but I don't even know how to like, I don't exactly understand his principles because I'm like, I feel like I, the rest of... Um, he has a code, but he has He no has a code. Conscience. Yeah, he has a code, but he has no conscience. And I think the way that I operate is more similar to everybody else in this movie who thinks he's crazy, right? Like, I look at him like he's this crazy psychopathic killer. But he has this set of principles that he follows. So when he's decided that you need to die, then you need to die. And a lot of it is completely unjustified and a lot of it feels like random chance. And so he uses the coin sometimes to facilitate that. But then in the end of the movie, he's a victim of a chance car accident. Exactly. So it's like he's also not above the chaos of life. And a lot of people say, oh, he's like the embodiment of pure evil. But, then they talk but he also seems like just the embodiment of random chance in life. Like, I which, because a lot of... He's like the embodiment of like chaos without conscience yeah because just sometimes happen. like he's like yeah because it doesn't feel like just pure evil because i mean quite frankly llewellyn in a way deserved to die from the beginning of the movie yeah like the moment he takes the money i was like okay well the whole time he has this money he's gonna have a target on his back but it was really the fact that he had a conscience exactly because it took him back because he was like i'm gonna go give that guy water there, there that's is, what he him didn't up. have a conscience he would have gotten, gotten away with it. Like, this, the movie has so many levels of, like... Yeah. It's just, like, it's so, like, plain and it's like, so real, but it deals with this conflict between, like, what is good versus evil, and is evil real, or is it just, like, things that happen and we try to put our own moral code on them? Right. You know, and that's what the Tommy Lee Jones character, they do with, like, putting this moral code as the police on things. Yeah. And then that character's there to say, like... It's not all waiting on you. Like, yeah. this is just how things have always been. I don't know. I think it's a remarkable movie. And the fact that there's no score, you don't, you don't even notice. You're like, in the movie, it's so Well, I, I definitely did because you told me. Sure. I almost wish you hadn't told me again. <laughs> I said that when you told me. I'm like, I really wish you just hadn't told me that. Well, so I was hyper aware that there was no score, but it was perfect because... It was so much more suspenseful without any music, yeah. um, especially in the scenes where Anton is like hunting people down because he's very quiet and stealthy about it. Um, so he'd like take off his shoes and be sneaking around the motel in socks or things like that. And having the silence was really effective. So, all right, here's a question. The classic question that you should get asked. Do you think Anton Chigurh killed the girl in the end? I forget her name. Oh, car. Yeah, yeah, because they leave it open ended, right? So, in a way, I do. So, the reason I feel like she died is one, we already had a coin toss earlier on in the movie, and the guy lived. And usually, when you repeat something like that, the opposite event happens, unless we repeat it multiple times, and usually the last one is different. So, I just assumed based off of that that she would die. But also, when he stepped outside of the house, he was looking at the bottom of his boots, and I was thinking he's looking for blood. When he shot. Woody Harrelson's character. He avoided he getting blood on his boots. Yeah. So I genuinely think That's he did. I do think he killed her, but I think it just wasn't important for us to see that. Yeah. It was very interesting, though. I like that choice to cut away from it, though. The one thing I didn't 
understand when the sheriff, yeah, he goes back to the crime scene and he's looking in the lock and he can see the reflection of Anton and Anton can see the reflection of him and the lock and he opens the door and he like kind of searches the place for him and Anton has gotten away through an air vent. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand why Anton was even in the crime scene. The scene before they're talking about the crime scene and how they said they didn't find the money, they didn't find the money and they and said but the Mexicans did leave in a hurry so yeah. we're not sure if they got the money or not if you go in so I was wondering if maybe Anton was in there and just hid the whole time from you, the cops if or if you go in earlier in the movie Josh Brolin had hid the money in an, in an air, air vent. vent yeah so maybe the guy snuck in through an air vent so no no because he bursted the lock-in sorry and Anton Chigurh went back yeah. Because he knew the money was in the hotel room. Oh, he knew it was in there. And yeah. And if you go back, you notice there was like a loose screw in well, the I know. I because Anton Chigurh was there getting the money, and there's like scrapes on the airman. So by no, the time I, Anton yeah. Chigurh goes back to kill the girl in the end, he's already got the money. Yeah. He went back to get the money. And so Got the cop you. Came Just back came back at the exact moment that he was in he there. Was there. I see. And it's sort of this like secret like confrontation. Right. And well, he, it was also interesting. Yeah. And that, okay, that makes so sense. Anton Sugar came back and got the money. So Anton Sugar, after everything, gets the money. He wins. Right. It's a movie where the bad guy wins. Yeah. What yeah. do you think of that, the scene in the gas station? So unsettling. Um, <laughs> so unsettling. Uh, that scene's like legendary. Yeah, I actually have seen a still from that scene before because whenever you hear about Javier Bardem as an actor, like that still comes up because I don't know if he won an Oscar for this or not. I know that this is something he's like known for. So I've seen a still of him in that gas station before. Um, How could you not? Yeah. It's everywhere. Yeah. Because it's, it's iconic. Yeah. So, but yeah, it was very, very, very unsettling. Um, and it's, I like the way they introduced the coin toss thing because he doesn't outright say what it's for, but like we as an audience member have already seen how unhinged he is and how quickly he will kill somebody without hesitating. So it's already like implied, oh, this is what the coin toss means. He's This man could die right now and he doesn't. And it it's so suspenseful. What was your um, overall reaction to the movie? At the end of the movie, what's your reaction? Overall reaction, I think... I think ultimately it's not the most satisfying story because it doesn't have that like resolution that you really sometimes want from a movie. But I think it, it's just spectacularly made, well filmed, well edited, well written, but just not as satisfying as you kind of want it to be. But I feel like that's kind of like how life is. So kind of <laughs> it's, yeah. yeah, it feels like that's the point of it. It's supposed to, it feels like it's supposed to like make you feel like this is just kind of how life is sometimes, you know, um, especially out there where they are in the country. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. It was really interesting. At the end, you're not necessarily satisfied. But I almost promise you, you're going to be thinking about this movie like two days from now. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely, that's what I mean by when I say it raises interesting questions. Yeah. Like, a lot of movies don't. This isn't a movie you watch necessarily to be entertained. It's a movie you watch to, like, try to figure it out like a puzzle and still not really figure it out ever because it can't really be figured out. <laughs> and I think there's something to be said for that. Yeah. But I wouldn't categorize this as, like, entertainment necessarily. I'd categorize <laughs> this as, like... This is a movie you want to watch when you want to think about life and philosophy. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I'll, I will be thinking about it for a while. Thanks for chatting with me, babe. Yeah. This was fun. I like doing this I, with you from time to time. We normally have these kinds of conversations off camera, yeah. but I figured I would just bring Tyler in here this time because I was just stunned at the end of the movie. And sometimes in situations like that, it's easier to kind of have a conversation about a movie with someone rather than just sit here and talk to you guys through a camera by myself. Yeah, thanks for chatting with me for the yeah. outro. I appreciate it. Of course. Love you. Love you too. All right, guys. I hope that that outro sounded okay. I don't really know. He's kind of not near the microphone when he was speaking, but I hope you could hear him. I hope it was good. Um, I just thought it'd be fun to bring Tyler on and talk about the movie rather than just sit here and try to give only my impression because he has seen it a few times and I know oftentimes a lot of people when they've seen these movies multiple times um, will just comment fun interesting things about the movie so I thought you know what for a movie like this that is kind of hard to unpack and kind of really hard to process just watching it once 
I thought it'd be fun to bring somebody in who has seen it multiple times um, so we could actually have a dialogue about it. And oftentimes when I watch movies that are this intellectually challenging, I think, and or I don't even know if I'd call it intellectually challenging, but more so like challenging from a story perspective because it's not giving me exactly what you expect from a movie, which is great because it's surprising and different. Um, but sometimes I just feel myself feeling a bit stunned and flabbergasted at the end and kind of speechless. So it's nice to be able to have a conversation with someone like Tyler and pull me out of <laughs> what I just witnessed and actually have a conversation about the movie. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little outro being a little different. All in all, this was a great experience. I'm really happy that I've finally seen this movie. Uh, I've just been hearing about it for years and how iconic it was and how iconic Javier Bardem was in it. And he absolutely was incredible in his performance. And I really liked how many unanswered questions there were at the end of this movie, especially with characters like Carla, you know, not knowing whether or not she lived or died, I think is really interesting. And I'm definitely looking forward to watching more variety of films with you guys in the future, films in the crime genre, in the drama genre. I love switching things up here on my channel quite frequently. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this movie with me. If you did, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can watch more stuff like this in the future. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to check out next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.